After using Ultra Lone Peaks for quite a long time, when the 7 model came out, they didn't fit the same for me. I made a video on that. You can check that out. It's on my channel. But I've been on the quest to replace the Ultra Lone Peaks. These are the 7s, and I finally found a winner. And it is these. I've been wearing these for 200 miles. These are the Topo Athletic Pursuit shoes. In this video, I'm going to share my experience hiking with these so that if you're coming from an Ultra Lone Peak 6 or whatever it might be, uh, you'll feel confident in knowing what to expect if you pick up one of these pairs of pursuits. Now, this is not sponsored by uh, Topo Athletic or anyone for that matter. It's user sponsored, user supported, so thank you for that. If you want to support the channel, Channel, subscribe, give me the thumbs up, or use my affiliate links underneath the video to buy either the Pursuits or anything uh, from Amazon or REI. I get a little piece of it, no extra cost to you, but it helps me do reviews like this, waste time checking other shoes out so that you don't have to waste your money on the other shoes, and hopefully you can go to something like the Pursuit and feel good about it and have a solid hiking shoe that will last you a while. On paper, the specs for these shoes are very similar. They're both zero drop with a wide toe box. They have a similar stack height and a similar weight. They both have breathable uppers and you can get these wet and they dry out relatively quickly. One of the things that is different in a much better way is the outsole. This is a Vibram or Vibram, depending on how you say it, uh, mega grip tread, and this is excellent. This works well on slick rock. It well, works well in the mud. It's the same tread that you'll find on the Hoka Speed Goats, on the Ultra Olympus, and on the uh, Moab 2 hiking shoe. It's really good, and I had absolutely no problem with this. The upper is breathable. It performs like any other breathable trail runner or vented shoe where you could just walk through a stream, get it wet, and expect it to dry relatively quickly. I didn't have any problems there. It performed as expected. I think the upper is the same as the upper that you find on the Terra Venture, which I used uh, quite a bit as well. That has a little bit of a drop. This has zero drop. Uh, and I did get really great reviews from the Terra Venture. Uh, people had hiked across Scotland, backcountry hikes, uh, off trail hikes, and Tasmania and stuff. And people said the Terra Venture was excellent. And, you know, this is very similar to a Terra Venture, if anything, maybe a little bit beefier. Uh, so I've got about 200 miles on these right now. You could see the condition they're in. They look pretty new. They look like they might have 40, 50 miles on them. So I'm expecting these to last longer than the Ultra Lone Peaks, just like my Terra Ventures lasted longer. Um, hoping to get maybe 700 miles or so out of these. We'll see what happens. But overall, it you know durability is great, and it feels a little beefier, a little more durable as well. All right, trail feel, right? This is important. And I can tell you that the Pursuit feels very, very similar to the Lone Peak. That feels very similar to it. It feels a little bit wider. It definitely feels a little more stable. And the Vibra Mega Grip tread feels thicker and I get more protection. So when I'm walking in these pursuits and I step on a sharp rock, it definitely doesn't feel as uh, sharp as a uh, sharp rock felt on the, the Lone Peaks before. So they have sort of the best of what you would get in a hiking shoe, which is that a little bit more of a beefy feel, beefier grip, beefier uh, sole, but it also has that nice wide, uh, you know, interior feel where your forefoot can splay out, you can step down and it's comfortable. And to give you a testament, I mean, I've hiked uh, many miles in these, like I said, about 200 miles. I've done 20 mile days in these. I've not gotten one blister and I didn't have to do anything special. I didn't have to wear a Niji toe socks or use talc or do anything tricky like that. Just regular hiking socks, darn tough hiking socks and uh, these shoes and not a problem at all. They just worked really well, super comfortable. And, you know, it has that Lone Peak feel to it, but again, feels a little beefier in the places that matter. One negative, I don't know if it's negative, it might be strong, or just something to be aware of, is that if you're used to the Lone Peak, it's kind of a flat shoe. There's not really any arch support in there, minimal, minimal. With the Pursuit, just like the Terra Venture, there's a little bit of arch support, a little bit of a bump there in the arch. And if you have a higher arch, it's probably gonna feel fine. My feet are relatively flat, so I felt it right away. And at first, it was a little annoying. I wore it for a few days, and I totally forgot that that feeling was there. So everyone's foot is different. I'd say go try them on if, if you're in doubt and see if it works for you. But give it a couple days. I, you know, I've been hiking with it and I haven't had any problems, no blisters, no sore feet, no weird tension or, you know, pains in my arch or anything. So it might not even matter for you, but just something to be aware of. If you wear gaiters, the attachment system is different. Be aware of that if that's something important to you. 
Hopefully that was helpful. If you're upgrading from the Lone Peak 6, I would just go right to the Topo Athletic Pursuit. Uh, I would also try, if you're okay with a narrow toe box, if you don't care about the wide toe box, try out the Hoka Speed Goat 5. I did a review on those. I really love those, but the narrow, toe box is just too narrow. It might be okay for you, but otherwise the Pursuit is a great shoe. And if you want to know why the Lone Peak 7 uh, didn't work for me and I think is a downgrade from the Lone Peak 6, check out the video I put up on the screen right now where I share my experience testing out the Lone Peak 7. I wish it was better. Uh, maybe the 8 will be better. Maybe the next Pursuit will be even better. Who knows? Stay tuned. I will talk about them all.